Fit's Health is Lori Head from Mind Your Body, and today we are talking strength and flexibility, and they are two things that go hand in hand. Well, thank you very much for stopping Hi, by this welcome. morning. Yep. So first off, tell us a little bit how flexibility plays into strength and how they kind of just play off each other. Well, I think sometimes we need to think we need to separate them, but it'd be nice to do them together. And sort of a Pilates concept that okay. when you're doing one. And uh, also, I was going to bring in uh, yard work today. So ah. the grass is so nice. Just once in a while, sit down. So we're going to take a nice, really tall stretch, pretend yep. we're on gorgeous green grass, and stretch over. Of course, we're stretching hamstrings, also with a flat back, lower back. And then when you bring your arms up, you're going to lift your leg. Ah. And if you're right on the, it's called your sit bones, if you can feel those two little bones and your quadricep and your abdominals, you can probably feel right. a little bit. All right, then we're going to exhale, go back down, stretch hamstrings again over the legs. And then now we have to even out, so we'll come up with the other leg. And you're doing fabulous. There we go. Nice job. So you, what, if you, what do you feel right now? Just right in through here, a <laughs> little bit in the back, so like you can feel your body start to really, it's fighting to balance a yes, little bit. Yes, exactly. So a lot of people do get really sore with um, different types of yard work. So just once in a while, sit on the grass. And the other one we're gonna do is we're gonna come on one knee, doesn't matter, knee, okay. of, knee of choice. And then the leg is straight out, and I'm going to use a flex foot instead of a point foot. So we'll stretch again. It's nice to breathe sure. when you stretch. Perfect. So you're going to feel your hamstring again, maybe a little lower back. Then we're going to touch that toe. I'll touch it for you. There we go. Thanks. There we go. <laughs> Almost can make it. And then the hands move in, and, and this one's interesting. So then you lift the bottom leg. Okay. And so then that you've got balance a little bit. And then if you want to stretch it back out, you can bend the knee. Make sure the knee is directly over the heel. And then we'll just redo that whole thing. So you're going to walk the hands out. So walk out. Yep. Okay. You're going to exhale and breathe. So And a lot of people get so stiff doing yard oh. work. So once in a while, it's nice to stretch. And then you can move them in a little bit. And okay. then you're trying not to tighten the quadricep too too much and lift the leg up harder uh, than yeah, it looks. That one is <laughs> very, now is there like a way to work up to that? Like where you're at, I mean, that's. Exactly. Well, and just well, sometimes if you just will it to come up, you're firing the muscles and you're thinking about it. Um, and you can even, if you have something to hold on to, we could just lift the leg and back okay, for so balance like that. And then you can work up to yes, that. Yes, exactly. Fold. Yeah. So it's one of those. But anyway, it's nice to stretch and strength at the same time. There's a lot of things you can do in combination to get ready for all the summer sports. So with, with something like this, is this you maybe spend a couple minutes right before you go out to do yard work or while you're doing yard work take oh. an exercise break okay and maybe you won't get so sore then you can go for a bike right after and a swim and a run and you can get it all in all right. so just spend the whole morning exercising <laughs> combination of things. so back to you know the strength and flexibility if you build up one the other kind of follows correct yes and just like uh, the one we're doing right now then you're also involving balance you could tell okay you feel so like core strength in yep, through so here then you've got all the abdominals working and then sometimes your quadriceps take over like you, like a cramp almost so that's why you are learning to isolate different muscles too and which ones you want to engage and use the most and develop the different strengths. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much You're for welcome. stopping by this morning.